all things. Look to the good of them that are called according to his purpose. All things. Look to the good of them that are called and all called and all called. Hi there, Brainwash Sellers. Joshua Heritage coming at you today. How you doing? So, uh, there was this uh, woman. Her name is that vegan, that one vegan girl. That one vegan girl, one word. Bam. Anyway, she, uh, she was a head covering woman. She covered her hair. And then uh, she stopped one day, and that's fine. She's legit. But uh, she it felt like a lot of people were condemning her for not covering her hair anymore. And and one of the things I wanted to share with everybody, and, and that, that according to scripture, if you're a single woman, you do not have to cover your hair. Now, I know a lot of people don't say you have to cover your hair at all, and I'm not going to say that because you do have to cover your hair if, if you're married. Because the word in the Greek is gune. Gune is in reference to uh, it's in reference to married women. The Bible de delineates between gune and a virgin as parthenos. Parthenos. Parthenos is a virgin woman. The parthenos uh, doesn't have to cover her hair because the hair covering or the head covering is meant to sh as a symbol of authority to your husband. If you have no husband, there's no need for authority or to show that symbol of authority. So, if you're not married and you want to cover your hair, that's good, you can. There's, no, there's nothing in the Bible that says you can't, but it's okay not to. Also, you know, she was, you see, one of her videos, she said she was upset because she was wearing it all the time and, and it got too much and whenever she prayed, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, listen, the whole purpose of the head covering is a symbol. It's like a wedding ring in the Bible. It's a symbol that you're married. It's a symbol that you're humble to a man. If you have nobody seeing you, then you do not need the symbol. But if there are strange men watching you, then you need the symbol. If you come home, you want to pray, you can take off your head covering. But if you're around, I, I always, this is what I do. I, I have this thing called the underwear rule. And it's like, if you feel comfortable with the people around you seeing you in your, you in your underwear, you do not need a head covering. So that means sons, daughters, husband, etc. You don't need a head covering for that. But if uh, you're around people that you wouldn't want people to see you in your underwear, then I would recommend you covering your hair. That's just something I thought I'd bring to your attention. That vegan girl, I, I hope you watch this because I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that this will bless you because I, 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 I've done a lot of research on this and. I'm pro head covering, like hardcore. If you watch any of my videos, you'll know this. But uh, I don't want you to condemn yourself for not being able to wear it all the time because honestly, you don't have to wear it all the time. You just have to wear it as a symbol of submission to the man in your life when you pray or prophesy. And so, yeah, just thought I'd bring that to your attention. I'm the heretic. Uh, peace, love, and grooving forever. You know I love God because I love virtue, justice, and salvation. All right, peace out. What's up?